You're standing in one of the last great cathedrals in this country, built on the premise that you and you alone are responsible for the consequences of your actions. You have anything else to say for yourself? Yeah. Yeah, it's not an affirmation. Yeah. It's not an affirmation a man uses in court. Henry? Judge? Yeah, the way he shakes my hand while he's hugging everyone else. I have memories of us, you, me, and I don't. How come? You're just a boy from Indiana who's going to do whatever he has to do to pretend that's not true. We built these walls of stone. Stop staring. I know I look good. Forensics found traces of blood on your dad's car. It matches the victim. We spin these tales. A man who kills somebody on your watch, a man you released, you don't remember hitting him. We need to establish a firm defense. Are you asking if you can represent me? You can afford me. The truth can be exposed. There's a strength in letting go. Dad cannot go to prison. You cannot lose this case. You put me in juvenile detention. I did what I thought was right. I will never come back here again. Good. You are simultaneously the most selfish and the most generous person I know. I loved you then. I love you now. But now a man's blood, a man that you hate, was found on a car that only you drive. You didn't seize that chance and kill it. That's not my testimony. I'll paint your father as a holier-than-thou prick determined to see what he considers justice served. My father is a holier-than-thou prick determined to see what he considers justice served, so it's going to be a light day. <laughs> That's funny.